Okay, y'all, so grab a glass of wine and let's get into this because there's quite a lot to talk about. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video for you guys and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks on how to survive 2020. But really, these are tips and tricks that I use for like everyday life in general. Like I will be using this like forever because they just help the days go by a little bit easier, especially when there's just a lot going on as this year, there has been a lot going on. So if you guys would know what I do to keep myself at peace and health then please stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram snapchat facebook and twitter and let's get right into the video okay y'all so i have my glass of wine here it's pretty big i love wine if you know me you know i love wine it's been a while since i've consumed an alcoholic beverage on my youtube channel um, I wanted to talk to you guys about 2020. I've been seeing so many posts on Facebook, across all social media really, like Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, like just about everybody from the most famous people to just like friends and family that are closer to me, um, seem to be having like a really rough year or are expressing that 2020 has just started off pretty just crazy so i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that and what i have been doing to keep myself and my mental health just um at peace i think we can all agree that 2020 has started off a little bit a lot different than what we've all imagined i feel like at the end of 2019 everybody was super excited for a new year a fresh beginning a new start and then you know in the middle or towards the end of january probably even the beginning of january there has just been a lot going on as I've seen, as I said, my friends and family and a lot of just people everywhere kind of struggling and disappointed with how the year has begun and that kind of like breaks my heart a little bit because we're still at the very beginning and there's always going to be obstacles and there's always going to be things that we need to, you know, fight through and push through. But yeah, so I just wanted to share some tips and first and foremost, drink some wine because this is how you calm down. This is how I calm down drink a glass of wine but I have some um, notes on my phone actually so I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the things that keep me at peace and my girl Ariana Grande is back here to help me I love her if you didn't know already let's start from the inside out so what I mean by starting from the inside out I mean that you have to take care of yourself internally and then that's gonna help you take care of yourself externally and in general I've continued some healthy habits that I started off at the end of 2019 into 2020. I've mentioned in my nose piercing vlog how I was vegan, but I stopped being, ve being vegan for a while because I was going to London and Paris last year and I really wanted to try their cuisine and I didn't want to limit myself to just vegan foods and stuff of that nature. Also, let me throw out a disclaimer, I did drink some wine, so I'm a little bit all over the place, but I'm really chill and I think that's what it is. My mind is too calm but you know in these days there's no such thing and I also did something else that I'm gonna talk about later but anyway um, so I've been vegan on and off the reason why I say on and off is because I don't want to necessarily dedicate myself to a vegan lifestyle as of yet I'm slowly easing into that lifestyle and I don't want to claim complete veganism because I don't want like the hardcore vegans coming at me and you know probably will anyways but I have been on on and off vegan for some time now and for the past like almost a year now and it does so much for my energy level for my focus for clarity for for women for your cycles and stuff it really does a lot diet actually affects everything it's just insane I've definitely felt a difference from eating horribly like junk food fast foods and stuff like that juice even soda i don't really consume soda but when i do um i notice the difference from all of that stuff to eating fresh foods veggie real food and clean eating and drinking lots of water there's definitely like it's just like night and day it's such a huge difference and i definitely prefer to feel how i feel when i eat vegan so yeah that's something that I've been doing is I'll eat clean eating consciously and I definitely recommend at least a couple of days out of the week if you can't I'm not saying for I'm not ever gonna push anybody to try any 
or to commit to any lifestyle because every, everything is different for everybody. I truly believe that you just have to do whatever works for you, but I do recommend at least trying it every now and then and you'll notice a difference in everything. Like your gut health really, 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 really affects your mental health and I can't stress that enough. In all of that is drinking more water. Like to go with the whole vegan thing, my next tip is drinking a lot more water and really just, you hear this everywhere, like drink a lot, drink lots and lots and lots of water. I'm saying that as I am drinking a glass of wine, which is dehydrating me, but it's just like, do as I say, not as I do. No, I'm just kidding. But definitely up your water intake and that'll help a lot with your diet and everything. To go along with that, another thing is working out, exercising. Something that I've been committed to for a couple of months now is yoga. Yoga has been a part of my life since a very long time actually, like years and years ago. I did yoga, I took a yoga class in college and I was doing yoga before that and Yoga is really just, honestly, it's freaking magical. I really recommend everybody to at least take one yoga class, if not like a couple, male or female, because for some reason, a lot of males feel like they can't do yoga, but just start, just try it. It's so relaxing, so meditative, and it really does a lot for your body, for your soul. It's really like more of a, a soul care kind of activity. It's not the same thing as being super intense and lifting weights and really doing a hardcore workout, but it really does ease your mind and your spirit and everything, and I just truly recommend yoga. If not, there are plenty of videos on YouTube that can help you get moving. There's five minute videos, which you have no excuse. You have five minutes somewhere. You have five minutes in your day somewhere. So you can use that to get your body moving, get your heart pumping, and work out a little bit. There's dance workouts, there's strength training, all, there's so many different types of workouts and I really recommend working out not because you're trying to look a specific way, but because of your mental health. Because a lot of people forget or disregard the fact that working out and get, getting your body to move actually helps your mental health and helps you keep at peace and that's why you see so many people sometimes when they go through something really tragic whether that be death or a breakup or some sort of like loss or really hard struggle you see that they go hit the gym really hard and you know it's become like their therapy and that is very very real it really does help even when i'm feeling really low i'll just force myself to get through some sort of workout even if it's for 10 15 minutes do something and get my body moving because it really does help and there's just no denying that the next thing is meditation i meditate every single morning and if i need it i'll meditate throughout the day whenever i need it meditation is so powerful like it's the best thing the best thing that you can do for yourself for your mental for your soul just it's just the best thing that you can do years ago i would say like i was not the type of person to meditate because i felt like i couldn't quiet my thoughts and meditating actually gave me a little bit of anxiety to be completely honest not like if i were if i was meditating successfully like it never happened during a meditation it was before the meditation i'll be like really anxious to start meditating because i'm like no i'm gonna just think about all of these things that actually like trigger me and i don't want to think about that stuff right now so i'm just not going to meditate i don't want to be alone with my thoughts kind of thing and i had to like shake that off and fight through it and really meditation has been the best thing that i can possibly do to start my days it really just sets the tone for the day i'm able to set my int intention for the day along with some yoga like every morning and you guys it does a lot especially i've had a lot of anxiety in the past two years i told you guys my mental health was rocky but this year i've made a commitment to myself to really fight through and not allow my anxiety and depressing states and stuff like that to really overcome or take control of me instead i'm gonna take control of it and i have not let it defeat me much this um year and it's been tough because as you guys know if you guys watch a couple of my videos back um Kobe's death really like struck me. Anyway, I don't really want to get too much into that, but it definitely helped me because after that I I got pretty pretty sad and it was really hard to get myself moving some days and I'm still in that state where some days I'm kind of like, you know, I just can't today. I feel 
just so freaking sad like I just can't do it but on top of that there's been a lot of things going on in my personal life and also just in general you know it, it's it's life life is happening and so you have to dedicate that time to make sure that you're okay and meditation has just done that for me so I definitely would recommend you guys to dedicate yourself to meditating every day and on that note I really wonder if I'm gonna be done with that at the end of this video hopefully not so the next one might sound funny because I honestly it's not funny because it's just not but I just seen so many memes about it that it kind of like I don't know if you guys would even take me serious but really burning sage is a real thing you guys like really cleanse your environment I'm over here hitting the wall really cleanse your environment and sage it really does something. Honestly, it's so sad because like, oh, it's not sad. Okay, I'm starting to feel this fine, you guys. I can't focus right now. Oh yeah, sage. Yeah. So really cleanse your environment and sage really does a lot. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with you mentally knowing that it's a cleansing type of thing, but also the smell. I love the scent of sage. My clothes actually smell like smoke. Like if you were to be around me, you probably think that I like smoke or something, but really it's just all the sage that I've been burning because this, this this year has started off a little rocky and it is definitely definitely needed but besides sage I love to turn on my humidifier and put in some essential oils my favorite essential oils are lavender is my top I could like I take lavender with me on my flights and everything like I did zip lining like two years ago I was super anxious and I was just sniffing that lavender like it like for the life of me but it really helps just bring everything into perspective you know scent is very very powerful so lavender lemongrass I love lemongrass eucalyptus um, eucalyptus is like more of a faint type of scent but it really I, I enjoy it. It, it it's something about it that's really soothing to me I love the orange essential oil as well I don't know the name of if it has a specific name but I think it's just called like the orange it just smells citrusy oh I love sandalwood as well so yeah those are like my favorites but essential oils do everything like sometimes I'll take my lavender oil and just put it like right back here and it'll just keep me zen every time I smell it it'll just relax me and doesn't matter what moment I'm in, it'll just remind me to just be in the moment. Oh, another thing that I did that I said I was going to mention later is, well, another thing that I do is CBD. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I love my CBD. I've worked with so many companies that provide CBD everything, and it's just, honestly, it's saved my life in so many ways. It's done so much for me. If you have anxiety or if you feel if you get stressed out a lot or if you just want to calm down and you don't want to drink some wine or you know it's like early morning so it's just like why would you drink some wine but you know it's later in Paris so you could anyway CBD does a lot for me so I have different forms of CBD I have the actual oil that you hold underneath your tongue for 30 seconds or some some of them say 60 seconds too but and then you just swallow it so yeah I have the oil and I have gummies and you guys know I have gummies because I promote it I forgot what company it was because I, I I've worked with so many CBD companies CBD oil CBD gummies are my favorite I remember on my flight to London it's in freaking seven eight hour flight so on my flight to London and back I just ate a bunch of gummies and I was set I was good so gummies and now I have a new company that I've already promoted actually it's called undefined beauty and I am absolutely obsessed because they have everything CBD so actually I'm gonna grab it for you guys so you guys can see okay so right now I only have like these two things close to me that I can show you guys but this is their glow elixir and it is a beauty oil so basically I can put some on right now actually I have a bunch of this on all over my body and that's why I started off the video super chill and calm and that's why I feel so zen right now because CBD and wine I'm chill but if you guys check out um, this company I'm telling you like and this is not sponsored at all like at all I just really love the company, but they're all clean ingredients So I don't feel like bad putting it on my skin and this is my favorite thing I actually just posted about this today. This is my favorite thing from them. Oh my god 
Oh, and everything smells so good. It smells so good. So good. But anyway, this is a glow melt and this is an indigo rose. And it is a CBD body balm. But what's, what's cool about this is that I have the top off so you guys can see. But you can see I've already used this. It's a candle. It's basically like a candle, but it doesn't like... Um, the scent is not like for like it doesn't come out with the candle the candle part is just you can burn the oil and then massage your body with this so it's like a massage oil basically this stuff is amazing and I'm saying all of that and I'm mentioning all of these products just to say that CBD is life so my next tip is a journaling I have books and books and books and books filled with pages of me just writing every single day I try to write every single day sometimes I fall off really horribly and well, not horribly, but I'll go a few days without writing and I feel it. Trust me, I feel it because my mind is always at 100 miles per hour and I'm like, I need to dump this on paper or something. So I journal every morning. So my morning routine is sort of like, I'll wake up, drink water. I'll make my coffee, but I don't drink coffee until after I meditate because I've tried meditating right after coffee. It just doesn't work. So... I'll meditate, then I will journal, and then I'll do my yoga, work out, whatever, and then I'll get on with my day and do, there. there's a bunch of other stuff I do, but that's basically like my healthy self-care reg regimen. <laughs> regimen. That's basically what I do every single morning, and I've dedicated it to just doing that every single morning. Another thing I've been doing is listening to indie music, upbeat indie music, and I feel like indie music it's basically that music that you hear when you go into coffee shops. And you'll find that a lot of people feel really productive when they go to coffee shops. Even you probably feel productive when you go to coffee shops. So I've decided to create that environment for myself at home. And that's what I do is that I listen to indie music every single morning i have no attachment to it it just feels good it's a it's feel good music to me um even if it's saying like something sad or something it's, it's still like feel good music to me and i really 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 love it and it makes me super productive i listen to it while i'm journaling or while i'm making my coffee and getting ready for the day eating breakfast um i listen to indie music a lot now and um, that's really helped me with my mood. I love my R&B, I love hip-hop, and I love pop. I love all types of music. I really do listen to any kind of music, but when it comes to certain songs and stuff, I feel like music is so freaking amazing, but it really transcends time and it can take you back to a particular time or moment where you might have felt really happy or really sad or really like confused and stuff and so sometimes you'll bump into those songs I don't know about you guys but you'll bump into those songs that will make me feel well I'll bump into those songs that will make me feel a little bit like right where I was feeling when I listened to it and sometimes I was not feeling the best but it was my therapy at the time and then it'll take me back there and then that affects my mood so music is very important I music over everything like I don't think I can go a day without listening to music. I listen to music every single day. Every single morning and throughout the day I listen to it. And it's not to say that all I listen to is indie music. I still listen to lots of other music, but for my morning routine and to start my days and for self-care, I definitely have stuck to upbeat indie music. And then of course, my last tip is to drink some wine every now and then, only if you're older than 21. 21 and older, drink some wine every now and then. Every like, you know, a glass of wine a day is good. I I don't drink a glass of wine every day. I really don't. But yeah, if it's if it's one of those days where I feel super stressed and tired and kind of overwhelmed, even if I've done everything on my list as far as self care and soul care, I will just go ahead and have a glass of wine at at dinner time, just to feel a little bit better and um, uplift my mood a little bit and calm myself down because that's basically what wine does. Wine and CBD go hand in hand for me. They both just relax me and slow my mind down because I'm telling you, my mind goes at 100 miles per hour every single day. But yeah, that's basically it, you guys. These are my tips and tricks on what I do to, you know, get through rough times, but also just because get through every day, especially working from home. Like working from home and being an entrepreneur, it gets difficult because there's no break time. You, you, there, there's just no break time. So it's very, very important for me to have built a self-care regimen that would keep me 
on board as far as work but also taking care of myself internally because I did not have that for the past two years and it showed. Enjoy, just remember to always take it easy and life goes on and as long as you're here, why not give it your best shot and at least take care of yourself and your body. You're not gonna just live this life and have another one to try better. This is your the only chance you got. So you have to just give it everything you've got and don't give up and keep going. And I hope that you have a blessed 2020. Do not claim it to be you know, the worst or a bad year or anything like that. Please don't do that because it's only just begun. I understand that a lot has gone on and you know it's life life happens I, I get it trust me i get it and i'm a human just like you it's not i'm not in a better position than anybody and nobody's in a better position than me so we're all just trying to figure it out because there's no rule book to this no matter what there's just no rules there's no guides well use the universe as your guide but that's on a whole nother level if you guys want more tips and tricks and you guys want me to go into depth on any one of these things whether that be uh vegan or just diet and stuff like that then let me know in the comments down below let me know what you do for self-care and soul care because taking care of your soul and self-care is kind of the same thing but there's a little bit of a difference in there just but anyways i hope i'm right I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had a glass of wine with me um, if you're over 21. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Ari says bye to... Isn't she just gorgeous? Oh my god. Yeah, but really, I'm so relaxed right now. I hope you guys are feeling relaxed with me. Turn on some incense, drink some wine, and just chill. Just vibe out, you know? Honestly, you know you're super relaxed when you're trying to speak and you're trying to think, but actually you can't think because like your mind is just quiet. That's that's where I'm at right now. My mind is just kind of quiet. Like, it's quiet, it's chill, relaxed. Oh my God. Do you guys want me to do a AS oh, I can't even do that video. I hate those videos. Well, I don't hate them, but they're so terrible. Like, they're so cringy sometimes. Some ASMR videos, they're cool and cringy all at the same time. Like, I really like them and really dislike them. What am I talking about? All right, it's time to go.